TransLogic brought to you by Chevrolet. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today we're with Eric from Honda. Eric, right. thanks for being with us. This is the Civic GX. You guys started this in 98, really forward thinking for right. alternative fuels. Right. Actually, our first model year was 1998, but the team was formed in 1994, 1995. Had a small fleet of development vehicles that they loaned out to fleet clients for a couple huh. of years and tested the viability and the durability. So originally it was it was designed for fleets. Yeah, there were a number of federal air quality uh, issues that uh, the car was actually designed to satisfy. Natural gas is a very clean burning fuel. It burns very hot and very thoroughly. So the CO2 emitted out the tailpipe is actually 25% less than a gas gasoline powered vehicle. So with a different engine, does it does it function different? Does it perform different? Because the fuel does burn hot, we beefed up uh, several internal components uh, in order to take that additional heat and stress. Gasoline is a very efficient fuel. Okay. There's a lot of energy in gasoline. The other forms of alternative fuels aren't as energy efficient. The pound for pound. Right, exactly. So what we've done with natural gas is we've gone from a, a 10 to 1 compression ratio that's in the gasoline powered Civic to a 12 and a half to 1 to recapture some of that lost energy that is inherent in the fuel. Okay. Does that change the performance? I mean, how many horsepower are we talking uh, about? Actually, it's almost seamless. The, and the natural gas uh, platform makes 113 horse. What's a regular Civic? Ga gasoline powered uh, Civic is 140. Okay. So drivability-wise, it's, it's virtually seamless to the driver. Is the car heavier? Because there is a tank in the back, right? Right. Actually, it's approximately 50 pounds heavier overall, so it's really okay. not a weight issue. Okay. It's really uh, simply a, a horsepower uh, cool. issue. Let me ask this. Other than pretty much cutting your trunk space in half, what's the purpose of that compression tank? Like, what, Why is that necessary well, in the process? I mean, because natural gas is a compressed fuel. Because it's just gas. It's, it's gas, just air. right. It's, so it's it literally larger than air. So yeah, okay. it has to be press, you know, pressurized, and then at 3,600 at the tank, it has to be uh, stepped down to the back of the motor where it's injected into the cylinders. All right, so is there any talk of making this a bi-fuel, essentially having the gas and the natural gas? The delta price difference between gasoline and natural gas is so small in the, in the U.S. market, 50 to 75 cents, maybe a dollar in some very specific markets. Here in the United States, we feel dedicated natural gas service makes that commitment for the consumer. And when you buy this car, you have one choice and you've, you've dedicated yourself to this fuel type. How dedicated is Honda to making this a commercially viable program? I mean, in 2012, you got a new Civic design coming out. Brand new Civic, that's correct. We've had a number of meetings with our engineers in Japan and we will have a, a Model Year 12 natural gas powered Civic. All right, now we're gonna take the car for a ride and we're gonna head over to a fueling station. One of the first things you'll notice about getting in this Civic is it's, well, a Civic. The inside looks just like any other Civic. In fact, if you kidnapped me, blindfolded me, and stuck me in this car, then I called the cops, and the cops said, what kind of car are you in? I would say a Civic, because that's how much like a Civic this looks. Very smooth, there's nothing different about the steering. All right, so let's really test these wheels out. Pedal to the metal. And we are at 42 miles an hour. <laughs> Yikes! Really gassing down, not so much happening. It's a very easy car. You don't have to worry about, oh, do I need to switch to sport mode or do I need to switch to eco mode? No, it's just very easy. All right, so I'm at a busy natural gas station here with Chris from Honda. Chris, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so lots of natural gas around me. Where does natural gas come from? Well, it comes from a variety of different places. I mean, it, it's coming from the same place that gasoline is, under the ground, rotting vegetable matter from thousands, millions of years ago is creating natural gas in the earth, and that gets pumped up out when they're taking gasoline out of the ground. There's also natural gas fields. You can also get it from rotting garbage or rotting vegetable oh, matter cool. today. So so you All could right. get it from some landfills or actually piping it right off the top. Wow, so they siphon it, it, kind of siphon, siphon it, it off, off as the garbage rots away. So that's huh. where it becomes really a renewable fuel. All right, so I'm ready to get out of here. How do I fuel up and go? Okay, first thing you have to do is actually remove the nozzle from here and connect it to the vehicle. It's uh, very different from a gasoline nozzle, oh, but yeah. very similar to what we'd use for hydrogen. So if you guys have oh, seen yeah, the clarity, yeah, yeah. On the clarity it's right? a gaseous refueling. All right. So you remove that little cover for, yep. the, for the nozzle, uh, plug it in here, 
turn this thing until it makes a noise. And swipe your card. So we got this clear. That's it. Whoa. So fill completion is based on the amount of pressure because it's going to be right. filling it up and backing up the exactly. gas. Okay. So it's working to get the tank to 3,600 PSI. Okay. And there's a home refueling station called Fill. Correct. Right? Right. It mounts in your garage or outside of your garage. A similar installation to installing a, a water heater in your home, basically. Okay. And that actually overnight, a slow fill system will slowly fill up a car overnight. Then I pull this back. Yep, you should be able to pull it back and it pops off. We want a receipt, let's get a receipt. All right, very cool, looks like we're full. Chris, thanks so much for your time, this is yeah, awesome. you're welcome. I'm gonna hit the road. <laughs> they never should have showed me how to fuel that thing up. All right, now, is natural gas the most amazing technology we've ever seen in our whole entire lives? No. But is this car better than a gas guzzler? Absolutely. And the mere fact that Honda has been working on this technology since the late 90s says a lot about their company. In fact, it led to their FCX Clarity, another great step in technology as far as alternative fuels. So if you're out there and you're looking for an agile, aggressive sports car, this is not the car for you. But if you are looking for something that's affordable and environmentally friendly, after tax incentives, this thing's coming in at about 20,000. That's a great deal for a great car. Honda's been doing some great stuff, and they got more great stuff to come, I'm sure. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. That's all the time I got. We'll see you next time.